If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. Make sure you check out Poton Store. They have the new certain shield codes already available and they have automatic email delivery for these codes. You can get them in batches of 50 codes with a slight discount or individually for 89 cents each. They also have all these other promo codes. They have um, every other set you could imagine. And if you use Tailbone code, you get 5% off your final purchase. For the European players, Millibuds Gaming has everything from collectibles to all the latest cards from the latest sets, Cosmic Eclipse, Hidden Fates, and everything from Sun and Moon. Don't forget to check it out and use Tailbone code when checking out in order to get 5% off your final purchase. Welcome back everyone, welcome back to a brand new day of Road to TT Worlds 2020. Big thank you to Rahul and Pedro for the hosts. Very, very kind of you guys. I really do appreciate it. I hope your streams were very, went very well. And so now we are moving on to Frostmoth. Yeah, Frostmoth, one of the most talked about cards from the new set with the Ice Dance ability where you may attach a water energy card from your hand to one of your bench water Pokemon as often as you like. So essentially, it's not Rain Dance because it's called Ice Dance. It's not as powerful as Rain Dance because Rain Dance is anywhere, including the active, but still looking like a pretty cool concept to have back into metagame. As I mentioned before, um, energy acceleration is always welcome, is always a dominant strategy. So perhaps Frostmoth will be able to sweep in the metagame and we are pairing Frostmoth with Lapras V with the attack body surf where you can attach an energy to it, a water energy, and then switch with one of your bench Pokemon. And then Ocean Loop for 210 and putting two energies back into your hand. But also Lapras V Max, which is super, super fat at 320 HP and has a G Max bump attack, which for the same amount of energy as Lapras does the same amount of damage. However, it's, um, it doesn't have a cap. Right, so you can actually push more damage through, and with five energies, you're one killing Picarum. With six energies, you're one killing Choo Choo's and um, Sations and anything at 270 HP. So, Lapras V Max is quite, quite powerful. We also have Blasters and Piplup for an attacker and for a different weakness in Grass. We have Splash Maker for healing purposes, dealing 150 and attaching up to three energies to heal, 50 damage for each energy attached. And we have Bubble Launcher for 100 damage, paralyzing, and we can, if we have three extra energy, we actually do 250 damage, not only um, 100. And it synergizes very nicely with Volcanion Prism Star with Sun of Lost dealing 120 damage to each of your bench Pokemon. Coincidentally, that adds up to 270. We also have Palkia GX with the Zero Vanish GX attack doing 150 damage and out of the blue you could shuffle all your energy from each of your opponent's Pokemon into their deck and that could be very, very devastating. Um, we have Jirachi and the Dene for support. I feel like I haven't been adding too many Dene's to my decks lately. Um, and then supporters wise we have Professor's Research, we have Marnie and then a small tackle engine in Misty Lorelei which is really nice because it finds your energy. We have Maulana and we have Cynthia Caitlyn. And we have the one of Fisherman for energy recovery, along with the two energy retrievals. We have 11 basic waters, and then we have an ordinary rod, great catchers, quick balls, pokegums, tackles, switches, and the Viridian forest. So, with that in mind, let's jump into the ladder and feature our last deck of today, which is not showing up. Where is it? <laughs> what? What the heck? Margie loves cats, that's awesome. Why is this not standard legal? Um, that's awesome that you're getting your box after work. <laughs> I thought about getting boxes for this set. I don't know, it feels like a really cool set. Like the new era, right? We're officially generation eight in the TCG as well. We have been in the video game for the last three months, but we're now officially also in the TCG era of Galar. Thank you for tuning in. Marky loves cats. <clears throat> all right. All right, all right, all right.
no weakness card energy no manual no weakness card energy in the, in return we are using um oh no i should have clicked no i should have clicked no that was silly that was that was habits yeah well my hand is not terrible for going first in fact um yeah my hand is not terrible for going first actually um but i should not have clicked to go first yeah i should not have clicked to go first uh, no weakness card energy. What we're trying to do is to vary the weaknesses by having grass type, grass weak water types, and lightning weak water types. There is merit to playing weakness card energy, but then I feel you need to play Guzmahala, and Guzmahala is a little bit on the weaker side here. We're not playing any. Um, ooh, ooh, okay. So okay, so going first ends up working out, and we're up against baby clowns, probably right. Probably based on what I'm seeing. Let's get our beautiful Snom. Yeah, Snom is also incredibly cute, so that's a good thing. Right? That is certainly a good thing. And then I will go ahead and in case of Fion, I'll bench this, but then I'll pass. Then I will pass. So yeah, I feel like either you play two or three Kuzmahalas. Right, I mean two or three weakness card energies, or if you only play one, then Kuzmahala, but I don't know, it feels a little awkward to me. <coughs> there's a baby blown, there's a green, so it is green's baby blown. I should have chosen to go second, I feel. That was a slight mistake on my part. Probably won't be able to attack this turn even though I have the Frostmoth, or maybe I will. Depends on how many energies I can actually draw. Or if I can find a switch. We'll see. Welder and Fire Flint. Alright. Alright. So Volcanian Prism would be really good here. I feel like I shouldn't. Well. Lapras VMAX requires seven energies for Baby Blounts to get the one kill. Frostmoth doesn't get the one kill. <laughs> All right, so there's a switch. Um, still not great though. So do I just dead a change? I feel like I just did a change. It seems like Caitlyn is very underwhelming as a supporter. And no, ninguna energía especial. Ugh, more underwhelming stuff. And my and my Misty Lorelai is priced great. <laughs> Just great. Yeah, we are so dead. <laughs> oh, come on. No, oh, this is very sad. We've lost. We have basically lost the game. We have basically lost the game. If if the if the Misty Lorelei hadn't been priced, I would have been able to at least get a price and maybe do something. But um, Irishurg, they should be now, like they should be as of five minutes ago. If I, like I'm not sure, I can't check right now, but they should be in the store as of five minutes ago. They should be in the store as of five minutes ago. Yeah, we'll just chuck this one up to to unlucky, very unlucky. Okay. Very, very unlucky. Not gonna lie. Oh well. Unless we top deck Professor's Research, we are not winning this match. 
Yeah, now they are. As of five minutes ago, they, they should have been. Every time a new set gets released, like at 12 central, that's when... Um, at 12 central, that is when um, things happen. So on Thursday at 12 central is when the cards are live and the booster packs are live. And then the Friday of the set release, that's when the code, the, the shop gets the, the packs. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. So 1 p.m. Uh, Eastern, 12 p.m. Central, um, 10 a.m. Um, Pacific time. Yeah. Okay, so I believe we're up against Picrom or more Pico. We are up against Picorum or more Pico. I do not want to go first. This time I click, right? Yeah, by, by clicking. By clicking. Oh. <laughs> okay, so Frostmoth is telling me that he wants to be my new sworn enemy, right? And she's telling me, or he's telling me, or whatever gender you are, that um, I'm not buying frost moths. <laughs> Two games back to back where where we just like what? <laughs> I mean, I know it's randomness. I know it's like variants. Just annoying. It's just a little annoying. Okay, well, I'm not gonna bother. Let's find a better match. Yeah, let's find a better match. Simple as that. Let's just find a better match. Very, very simple. All right. Please, 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 please have a playable hand. Please, 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 pretty, please, pretty, please. Pretty, please, playable hand. 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 All right, we lose a coin flip. Oh, my opponent, no. People are still choosing to go first, which I disagree. Okay, well at least we can play with this, right? At least we get to play. Okay, please don't feel on my snob. And if you do, you can't KO it, so it's fine. Okay, we're up against Pikaram, so stupid Lapras <laughs> is weak. So that's not great. So that is not great. That is certainly not great. <laughs> okay. Did it change away tax switch and energy switch and a custom catcher? All of them very good cards for me to see that my phone loses. Um, zero vanish could be my win condition here. Uh, all right. So worst case scenario is that I get attacked, right? So I should just sacrifice us no. I feel like that's correct. Or, yeah, I feel like that's correct. Double Snum 
into his body surf. And then I could get a knockout next turn. It's not likely, right? I could zero banish GX next turn as well. Also not likely. Yeah, tackle into Guzmahala into Akeo. I could potentially choose KO though. And once again, the this should be big amulet. Because then I can one KO with Lapraji. Oh no, Guzmahala. I can one KO with Lapras V Max. Yeah. I think that's a mistake. I do think that is a mistake. Aura for the three retreats. All right, we will take that. That makes us very happy. That makes us very, very happy. In Stone Journey, you kind of have to go first. Why is that, Iberserk? Why do you think in Stone Journey you have to go first? Why is that? Okay. So. I will go ahead and establish the Frost Moth. I think that's right. Evolving the Bench one, of course. And then, I feel like I should recover the energy. I definitely think I should recover the energy. And then let's Marty. Yeah, we take our resources from my opponent, which is good. We draw five cards ourselves, which is also pretty nice. And then, I go ahead and ice dance. I'm gonna go ahead and play the Volcanion. And then pass. And then we are hoping my opponent KOs this Nom with Pigrom, and then I return KO, so it's a 3 for 3 prize trade. <coughs> okay. I'm at the point where maybe just trading Lapras VMAX. For a peak round, like my opponent gets a KO. My opponent gets a KO on Snom. I get the KO on the peak room And then set up the, their Lapras Z Max, and then whatever he powers up, I use the other Lapras Z Max to KO and win. I think that might be the way to go. You like Keldeo V better, Poophead? That's fair. That's fair. I feel like the combo of Frostmoth and Lapras Z-Max is very obvious and very straightforward. Um, but there could be merit to Lapras Z-Max just being way too... like, too much, you know? Have I checked out Obstagoons yet? Yes, Bunsa's Obstagoon was the first deck I played today. And it went pretty well. It went pretty well. I was pretty happy with the list. I could see some things to improve upon. Um, but it was, I was pretty happy with, with where the list ended up being at. And I do think it's um, it's pretty it's pretty decent. Yeah, it's pretty decent. Okay, terrible top deck. Terrible, terrible top deck. <laughs> How do I not find a single energy? How? How do I not find a single energy? Okay, dual of the bad decks, I guess. <laughs> every energy every turn is good. I mean, but you have Karate Belt though, right? You can use Karate Belt, then you can use Eye Guard. Like you'll see, you'll see the list that I that I have. You'll see that it's pretty pretty okay. Uh, tackle. I know my opponent has one Custom Catcher in hand. Okay, didn't find the other one though, that's good. Okay, so I guess we're not trading against... Um, we are not trading against a choo-choo, which could be bad. But what are you gonna do, right? Um, is there anything I wanna conserve? Perhaps the Jirachi? Um, nah, 
that's fine. No, yeah, I do want to conserve a Jiranchi. And I'll grab a Pipstoids. Yeah. Or maybe, yeah, this is fine. And then I'll Dead Change, come on. Just give me energy stack, please. Okay, that's that's energies, right? That's good. That's good. Um, it's not the best, but it's something. Okay. So then I will go one here, and that's enough, right? That's enough for the knockouts. Let me just double check. Ninety. Oh no, I need a oh I need a fifth one. Oh my god. Oh, I can't do maths. I was sure with four energies that was gonna be enough. Oh, there's no way to fix this. Oh my gosh. I can't do maths. Oh, I can't do maths. And 210 isn't even good for this. Hmm. Yikes. Big yikes on my part. Okay. Well, I have a backup plan, I guess. <laughs> I have a backup plan. That was a big yike, so... Oh my gosh. I mean, what would I have promoted instead, though, right? Okay, it really sucks that my one hasn't used Coco Prism yet. That's, I think, the biggest issue here. That is definitely the biggest issue. And the huge hand. Power plant and unit energy, that's fine. No Thunder Mountain in sight so far. So basically, <laughs> that's okay. Because basically, <sighs> gosh, that was so bad. Okay, so my opponent does have the Electro Power, Willful Blitz. Okay, so now. I need to promote something that can retreat easily, Pablo. Yeah, be good, please, be good. Five energies into this card. Okay, I'm going to zero vanish GX. All these energy away. <clears throat> and eliminate the Pigram. Okay, so zero vanish needs to come in clutch here. Energy for turn will go here, and then I will Ice Dance one. <sighs> Nice programming. Having the animation happen every single time. Okay, and then five energies is 150. So I might as well. Now I'll commit to this guy, I guess. Okay. And then I'll retreat. And then I'll quick ball the quick ball. Grabbing this numb. And then I'll go zero vanish GX. So these energies go away, but oh no, they go back into the deck. Everything goes back into the deck. That's crazy. Okay, and then in a very hypothetical, very fantastical world, I find great catcher and enough energy to KO this choo choo next turn. Right. So we'll see. No. Uh. Yep. Oh. I had the cards to do it. <coughs> I had the cards to do it. Okay, so. I feel like I'm, I need to play to that, so I'm gonna quick roll for Jirachi and retreat into Stellwish, and that's it. I feel like that's what I need to do here. Not being able to attack my opponent's hand is a big deal, though. There's the Coco. There's no energy in the discard pile, right? Yeah, no energy in the discard pile. That's good. 
because the energies get shuffled before you check for the KO. Okay, there's a Volcar. Wow, decides to attach to their aura. That's interesting. That is interesting. just happened right there. <laughs> um, do I have anything with the tackle? No. Yeah, so no, not the tackle, Pablo, not the tackle. Just grab the energy retrieval. Um, that was really, really strange. That was in fact very strange. will help my opponent too much. Yeah. Silly Pablo. Um, I prefer it with Malamar, Mikey Love Scott. So I think the fact that you can't Welder on turn one anymore is a pretty big deal. So based on current tournament results, it seems like um, Mew3 Mali is the, the better version, but or the more powerful deck, but I still need to play with it, you know? Uh, yeah, I should not have played the, the stadium. That GX attack was really bad though. Okay, energy. Only one energy in the discard pile. We haven't seen Thunder Mountain at all, so maybe it's priced. Ooh, goes for the Volker. Is that gonna grab the costume catcher that he's missing? Possibly, possibly, probably. Yep. Ah, this might be where we lose. We were close though. Wow, I should, if I had just knocked out that peak run with the Lapras VMAX. That was, that was pretty bad on my part. Because then I could have zero vanished attacking whatever ended up attacking or KOing the Lapras, right? So does our aura. So I'd, I'd be like one turn ahead in terms of damage output, you know? He hasn't played the custom catchers. He actually grab a custom catcher and then he's gonna dead change it away. That would not be a great idea. Okay, no. Doesn't immediately finish this Telewish, so perhaps. Perhaps. Wait, what did he grab? Great catcher. Yeah. Now he goes dead it change, finds the stadium perhaps. Or energy switch. Oh wait, what? My opponent's making the weirdest plays. It's like he's purposely trying to lose the game. It's actually like he's purposely trying to lose the game. Okay, I am running very low on energy though. Okay, there is another great catcher in there, which I failed to draw. One, two, three, four, five, six. My opponent's definitely attacking next turn, right? You would assume so. You know he has a custom catcher in hand. 
I might just end up losing anyways. Hmm. Okay. This is such a weird game. This game should have been over by uh, like five minutes ago. <laughs> uh. That's not KO, friend. Oh no, it is KO. Ugh. He top decked the custom catcher or something. I don't know. That was that was so bad to play by my opponent. If I found the great catcher off of that research, I would have won there. Oh well. Oh well, sees we tried. <clears throat> Let's do one more game with the frost mod. See if we can win a game, right? The deck's just not working out. Stream is blurry, Ryan, are you sure? Try refreshing. Because like if the stream is blurry, that has to do with your internet connection more than anything. On my side, everything seems to be pretty stable. Yeah, pretty, pretty stable. From what I can tell. From what I can tell, everything seems to be pretty stable here. Yep, everything seems to be pretty stable. Okay, we lose the coin flip, we're up against another lightning pack, or my opponent chooses to go first. Do you have a misplaced count like Azul's? <laughs> I should, shouldn't I? Well, <coughs> <coughs> I have not started with Jirachi once. My opponent starts to 10 so I guess it evens out. Coco V versus Lapras V. Duel of the Titans and he's like, why would you choose to go first? You shouldn't be choosing to go first. Okay, what a horrible hand. Okay, please give me another quick ball. Ugh. Fine, I'll take the ordinary rod. Two bows. Okay. Please don't kill my Drachi. Pretty please don't kill my Drachi. I am asking that as a friend, Fogala. I am asking that as a friend. Okay. Volkner leads to Tetene, right? Could be prized the second one. Hello, Udio. Thanks so much for being here. Is the stream no longer blurry, Ryan? Is the stream blurry for anyone else? If it is, please let me know in the chat. Please, please, please let me know in the chat. Not blurry for me. Excellent bit rate. Bunch of followers. 53 viewers bunch of subscriber points which I'm really grateful for okay <clears throat> oh my gosh that's so harsh that she just has that and has a quick ball okay <laughs> what Please whiff energy. And energy switch. <laughs> this is so dead. I'm sorry, Jirachi, you are so dead. She's not immediately doing it, so maybe she did whiff. Lapras VMAX Frostmoth, maybe. Maybe that's not. Oh wow, she did whiff. She did, in fact, whiff the energy. All right, I feel like I do need this second Jirachi here. Um, I'm gonna Marnie, right? I, like, I need to. I know my opponent's hand is not fantastic, but I also shouldn't just like not do anything. Um, I'll quick pull away the Jirachi for this Nom. I'll bench this Nom. And then please let my Nom live 
one custom catcher down, so there's a good chance that it lives. And then my plan might just be the same thing. Ooh, that's very nice here. <coughs> my plan might just be the exact same thing. Double Lapras VMAX. Maybe. We'll see. We shall see. Okay, I didn't even get to counter a stadium, but there's no way... There's absolutely no way my opponent will not have a KO here. Absolutely no humanly possible way my opponent will not have a KO. Right? Yeah, so there's there's the KO. There's a KO on the Jirachi, but as long as it's on the active Jirachi and not on anything else, we can accept that. We can actually accept that. Because, yeah, like this game is different than last one. Wait, what? Because these two resources are gone. That is such a bad play. That is such a bad play. Please, game, let me punish this. Proper good games, thanks so much for the follow. Please, game, let me punish this. Horrible play from my opponent. I need a stadium to punish this. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say like, wait, what? You need energy in play. This game was different because last time against the previous speaker on my opponent hadn't used Thunder Mountain and hadn't used Coco Prism when I used um, my GX attack. But this time she was out of stadium. Hopefully if I found uh, a Viridian from the seven card research plus five card um, Stellar Wish and she was out of Coco Prism. So there was no way for her to attach more than one energy per turn, therefore Pigram would not be able to attack the next turn, therefore opening up a myriad oof, of possibilities um, for me. So hey, we won a game. We won a game because my opponent, like, we didn't win immediately, but my opponent's sequencing and choices were creating disadvantages for her rather than advantages. She had a chance to get a big advantage and to power up stuff and to get ahead and like full blitz into the active power up the Coco V, have a response to my Lapras VMAX, but she just didn't want to risk the Picarum. She was too afraid of the Lapras VMAX, and that was too big of a of a waste of resources. Um, so yeah, that will be all for today. Um, that's the longest I've streamed in a while, almost three hours. Thank you so much to everyone who has been watching. Yeah, and we will go ahead and host. We will go ahead and host someone else. Thank you so much for um, for watching today. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And I hope you enjoy Atrocious Gameplays stream. Thank you so much to everyone. And I will catch you on Monday. Don't forget to tune in on Sunday to our next stream with the Limitless TCG Show Match.